You know, I feel like I'm on a pale horse named Death. What's going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to the quest for 100% of Red Dead Edition 2. That's what Uncle wants, because that's the next person for us to see. Yeah, we're doing a story mission first today. Woohoo! Just one time I hope to find you work. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin', so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Ah, uh, is that who we're really going? We're, is what this mission going to be? Alright. On with it. In the black water. Let's go. This fella probably saw you, thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country room, doesn't know a pre cut. That's strange that they don't give you a pathing for once. I'm probably going the wrong way, as usual. Yep. Cut home from an outhouse, and I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I got to okay. respect him for it. Because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Uh. Hanger. Like, please don't tell me Arabia this early. We just got started being As friends. Saying, thinking about it? Uh, I might actually do this on my own. Just wait right there. We just leave Uncle. Screw him. And we'll wait for him. Because dialogue is also important, because, you know, I want to see more of Uncle and John's relationship, because we don't see much of it in Red Dead 1. Or... What is it? Where were we? Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Well, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Stupid covered wagon. Always in the way. We don't have furniture, that's a good point. Actually, I haven't even been inside the house. I should probably do that shortly. <laughs> this is him. How lumber salesman. How's little Emily? Emily. I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. 
Maybe that one. Yeah, that well, one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cut and in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, it's my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I... But this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John! How are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... you got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing. And I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. All right, Look easy. Look him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower <laughs> underneath. Easy way to do it. Plus, my one of my favorite characters in the game. In. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I'm waiting. Okay. I'll follow you. At the Painted Sky. Where the heck is Painted Sky at? Oh. I never knew... I, never, I guess I just you know, never paid attention to the name. Bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you? I ain't gonna make a habit of it. the rancher but saw a mexican looking feller hanging around now ramon cortez is around those parts split up from his gang and stuck in west elizabeth it's gotta be him hold up waiting on some out and we're gonna get to him first sadie hey so who is this bounty ramon cortez he's with the del lobo gang del lobos yeah you head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Sounds like he needs all the help he can get. Maybe drop in on him sometime. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice, weren't what I heard about him. Got hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, uh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not... I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. 
Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bike says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. This is Painted Sky up here. Huh. Looks I don't like ever remember seeing this place. Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Wait, I thought you said I'll take the house. I knew I was coming. So I'm gonna get ambushed like I normally do, and then we're gonna fist fight. You got it. What? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Wow. Yeah, that's him. That was easy. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. I punched him once, and it was all over. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going. Alright, we know how this works. Let's go ahead and get. Roads. Roads. It's different there now. Roads? Okay. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll be you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. You know, how do they not fall off? That's my biggest question. What do I know? I just play the game. I don't make it. But welcome to Rhodes. We've been through Rhodes a couple of times for random challenges, but nothing too serious. I better not do something I want to do later on. Hitch your horse up here. Hitch? Okay. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. How do you do? Hera. I forgot her horse is named Hera, isn't it? Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch! Two hundred! Three hundred for hmm. it! Be quiet! Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. Hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are going to ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard him till my boys arrive and we can get him out of here. Sure. Wait, what? Well, that's different. I spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> I knew this mission wouldn't be as easy as it led on to be.
The Del Lobos games in Rhodes now? That sounds hard to believe. Holy cow, there's a Don't lot of. I got big old hats. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. It doesn't have a hat. Okay, what just happened? Why did my, like, gun not fire at all there? Unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Mm. Mount up. Come on, Arabian. Where are we going to find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Dewberry. Starpa, look in there. Sure. You had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's not a thing, isn't it? We'll take two hundred dollars from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty, but we won't take two thousand dollars from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead, but not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it, I just said it was an odd thing how we'd take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Huh. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Hey 
Fire on a wooden bridge, underneath the wooden bridge, isn't exactly the smartest play. But you know, you do you, okay. Del Robos. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at them before we do anything. You know, I've been wondering about this thing. I knew there had to be a use for it somewhere. Let's go up. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through. So maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me? You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. Wait. But it's okay for you? I, I wanna die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. This has, uh, some redemption written all over it. This is why I want to pull up, like, unscope myself, because I can't see what shooting me. This is... Oh! That, okay. that was like... I don't know how I could see that guy, but... If I could have, you know... Pulled back, and then put back again... Why did I lose honor for killing one of them? Holy cow. Is that a boat? 
I don't understand, like... Where did it got away? Wait, what? Okay, that was bizarre. How far back do I have to go? Yo, get down here. Not as far... Not as uh, far as I would like. Okay, hold up one moment. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm up going around this time. I'm gonna go back to my normal spot. I've been playing off of the side for the last couple days and like eh. I shoot okay. Let's see what we can do about that. I'm sorry, that's one away. I want him to have a hat. Oh, you had a hat. Alright. Yeah, that was the guy that I got negative points for. It's pretty brutal right now. Which is awesome. You clear the beach! I'll chase Cortez! Holy cow. Long mission. Well, I gotta check my uh, my thing. I'm at 27 minutes already. I feel like I haven't done anything. Are we done? We might just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Wait, you just told me. This fool on the horse. Ooh. A lot of crazy bastards. Well, seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. That was, uh... Hello. Something. I'm back, girl. Let's get out of here. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? 
You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You're, you're a dead woman. You're a dead man. The Belovos will not forgive this. I've actually killed both your hideouts already, so, uh... Insane, what? You can't do that to me. Why would you tell me to... You're taking the money. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. Whoa. We're gonna come for Random you. wagon. Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fight and the killing. Well, that was, uh, something. Hey, look! That's a lot better than a jail cell. How about a prison cart? Or, a uh, jail cart. Why do I have to pick him up? Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. You just can't get enough of me. Put them in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Santa Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Hmm. <laughs> so we started at our home, went to Blackwater, <laughs> went to some random village, then go to Rhodes to go to some creek back to Rhodes. And then back to What the freak? And with the barns up. At least that looks productive. Alright, next I'm on Red Day Redemption 2. Only 91%, that's bizarre. We want 0.3%. Since we don't have that many missions left, we're gonna hit something that I probably... I'll go ahead and tell you what the goal is. We'll do a challenge episode, so... I don't know the order yet. We'll do a challenge episode, an episode that I'm gonna hate my life on, and then... something else. Maybe a hybrid. I'll give you a hint. One of these three is going to happen next in the next two episodes. I don't know what I'm doing yet. And I'll see you then.